For the students who are part of the UK Symphony Orchestra, it may seem like business as usual as they tune up during their rehearsals. But soon, they'll have a few extra guests at their practices when the Boston Pops come to town to prepare for a special joint concert on October 15th in Rupp Arena. But it's really exciting because some of the music we'll be doing on our own and some of the music, when we pull it out, my channel was like, okay guys, this is a Pops one. You better really learn the notes on this one because they're going to be sitting with professional. And they get to play with professionals who demand a certain level of of uh, uh, preparation, a certain level of, of execution, and so anytime uh, you're working with somebody uh, uh, who's actually making a career in music, it, it ups your game a little bit. There's an amount of energy that they put forth that you constantly have to remind yourself to match. But this is just one highlight of many for these students who have played in some big time venues with some very famous names over the past few years. It's beyond anything that I expected from my undergraduate experience. It was on my bucket list as a musician to play at Carnegie, to play at the Kennedy Center, to do a side-by-side -side with a major orchestra, do an outreach tour, play with Gil Shaham, Sarah Chang, etc. And I didn't know that all of those things would happen within the space of three years while I was a student. Experiences that will sound impressive on their resumes. It's advantageous uh, from an instructional and educational standpoint, and, and it also offers uh, some opportunities that uh, the students wouldn't have otherwise. We're going to get to meet, speak with, and work with a professional musician who plays our instrument in a real orchestra. I'm sure we're all going to just be chomping at the bit to talk to the clarinet and the flute for the flute. Everybody will want to hear what they have to say. But what means the most to many of these students is that the proceeds from the concert will go to a special endowment that will allow them to travel across the state to perform in communities without orchestras. So when I was 10 years old, I wrote a poem about how I wanted to be a famous violinist someday. I found it a couple years ago. I'd forgotten it even existed. But it showed me that when I was in the fourth grade, I knew what I wanted to do with my life. And there's fourth graders across this entire state who are capable of dreaming for themselves, setting goals, working to achieve them. They just need someone to tell them that they can do it, and they need someone to show them what's possible. So when we play for auditoriums and gymnasiums full of kindergartners, second graders, 12th graders who've never seen a symphony orchestra before, we're opening up to them an entire world of possibilities that they can then seek out for themselves. Possibilities that could inspire Kentucky's kids to end up in these same seats, preparing for major concerts of their own in the future. <laughs> For UK Now, I'm Amy Jones.